Hi, Laura from Gold Star Work here. Today I want to talk about what is your biggest art challenge and um, I'm going to be drawing a crystal painting while I'm doing it. And can you hear the purring? <laughs> this is Mittens. She is a little kitty that we found trying to live under our house. We think that someone dumped her. And I'm covering up the microphone. So we think someone dumped her and she was trying to live under our house. So she um, was pretty scared when we got her, but now she hardly leaves my side. <laughs> Just put her down. <laughs> so um, lately I have been painting watercolour crystals and I started off with this one. This, that was, that was just the cat, so just ignore that. <laughs> this aqua crystal here. And then I did this purple amethyst. And in this picture I am doing a yellow citrine painting. And, and um, if you are interested in any of these, I have put them up on my Redbubble shop and so you can buy them as prints of paintings or on many different products and I'll leave the link down in the description box for you and um, a few examples of what um, I am actually offering if you are interested in all, at, if you are interested at all in any of that. And, um, <laughs> These turned out to be a lot more complicated than I was thinking they would be before I started. I had never painted crystals before. My teenager is into crystals at the moment, so I thought I'd do some paintings and um, this was the result. And as you can see, um, it, it wasn't just filling in the colour and putting a few shadows in. I, um, the more I looked at it, the more little patterns I saw in it and the more I um, ended up putting in and editing was a problem for me this time that the, the cat is playing with my hand. <laughs> so editing my painting was a problem this time because editing in your painting is important <laughs> because um, you don't want to just paint everything you see, you want to edit it so people are looking at what you want them to see. <laughs> so what are your biggest painting challenges, frustrations and why I talk about the subject and some of mine I am going to paint my yellow crystal. So let's get started. So what is your biggest painting frustration? Is it frustration at not being a better painter? Comparing ourselves to others when we should only be comparing ourselves to ourselves? Not putting enough time and effort in to improve? That's one of mine. <laughs> is the painting not coming out the way I see it in my head. Perfectionism. Are we trying to be perfect? Fear of failure? A lack of knowledge, but what do I need to know? No time. Didn't get around to painting this week. These are but a few that I relate to. Tell me what yours are, and if or if you relate to mine. I want to know what your biggest painting frustrations are. I don't know whether you can hear that outside either, but the dog is barking. She's climbing in the wood pile <laughs> because there's a rabbit in there. So tell me what your biggest painting frustration is. I know mine is about myself, comparing myself to others or just procrastinating. What are your biggest hopes and dreams or desires that you want to achieve in your art? Tell me in the comments what you would like to learn about the most. Here are some of mine, and you may be able to relate to them. And the ones I said first are all some of mine as well. And editing as well, as in editing my art so I don't put in every detail. And I find that the more I paint, the better I am at editing. But after having a break from painting for a while, I um, try and put in too much and overcomplicate things, which is what I've done with my crystal paintings, I think, because I feel like they're a lot harder than they should be. <laughs> a lot of my frustrations, I think, can be explained in theory by two things. One, the fear of imperfection. And what do I mean by that? That's 
and my fear of failure. Am I not good enough? We hide from being imperfect at something by doing something else that requires no skill, and I am guilty of this all the time. Like, I'll do the vacuuming, or watching YouTube videos in the name of research, or knitting, because I'm a beginner and I'm expecting it won't always work out, and no one is judging me on how I do these things. And if they are, I don't care, because it's not important to me. And I also don't, don't judge myself if I don't do them well, whereas in my art, I do judge myself if things don't work out. And the other one is actually perfectionism. <laughs> Both sides of the coin. <laughs> perfectionism tells you that you cannot move towards your goal until you do something else first. I cannot do X until I do Y. And reaching my goals could produce a better result. Reaching your goals can produce a bad result. That's what perfectionism can tell us. So we keep avoiding doing the things. So we never have to achieve our goals and confirm our fears. In my head, I have a message going round and round that if I can't make a living from my art, I must not be good enough. Now, I didn't say it made sense, but that's just what I hear in my head. And I think that's a deep, seated held belief that I'm not good enough to make a living at my heart so if I try and fail I will confirm that <laughs> this is a really big one for me because I think this is why I've had such an up and down relationship with my art and how much art I do I really want to know your thoughts on what you think is holding you back the most in improving your art I really want to hear what it is. Is it certain skills you don't know that you want to learn? Is it a fear of failure? Is it that you keep finding lots of other things to do to fill your time because you don't think art is important enough to spend time on? That's another one of mine. That I feel like it's kind of a luxury. So if I can't make a living at it, it's only a hobby and there are so many more important things I should be doing. But that's none of what I'm saying. I'm saying is truth. It is just the way my mind works. <laughs> Which is sad, but very true. So talk to me in the comments. I really want to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you next time. And if you are interested in any prints of these crystal artworks, then I have links in my Redbubble shop down below. Thanks everyone. Bye. There we go. There we are. Your little kitty. We found this little kitty cat. It was living under our house. And our pets kept chasing it. So a little bit of a tall note. It's shaking like anything. So I've only just caught it and brought it in. It's very cute. But very scared. We're going to try and get it used to us, and if we can tame it, then we'll have a new cat. So, little kitty, we've decided to call her Mittens. Decided she really hated that other cage, and she'd just huddle in the corner and be scared the whole time. So we've changed the cage to this one. She still hisses at you when you come in sometimes. Sometimes she doesn't. Hello. Uh, she's not going to today. She's going to be friendly today. Hi. Hi, baby. You hear it? She's so tiny. <laughs> Hello. Hello.
I'm just keeping her in here at the moment while I go hang up the washing and things and then when I head down there I'll get her out. Then you want me to leave. Then you want me to leave. Come on in. Up you come. Up you come. Hi. You don't do my couch. We we don't do my couch. Just sitting on the window sill, and I've just let my big boy in, and <laughs> he's way over there in the kitchen some food up for him on the table so he's thinking about going up there to get it but he's very unsure about having this little kitty in the house are you coming in are you coming in are you coming in you little, little kitty really really oh yeah can't find her on this one she's just gone under there there's dodge Mittens really wants to be friends. Dodge does not. Mittens is a bit more cautious after being hissed at this morning. Thought she was just running straight up to him. Hey. 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 going on but that's as close as they've ever got to each other but Dodge is just staring hey Dodge it's okay it's okay good boy don't attack the baby don't attack the baby here we go here we go oh. Mittens isn't faced Dodge is still unimpressed <laughs> so 
Like, I don't know what's going on in my house. It's so scary. This is my Dodge Cat, who is the absolute boss of the house. Aren't you? You're just usually the boss of the house. You usually have no problems at all. Hey, you're the boss of the dog, and you're scared of a kitten. And who's watching him? I'm just going, nope, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. This house is too scary for me. I need to turn my back on the world. <laughs> She's got the ones in the back. Oh, cat in the back. <laughs> you got a cat in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not liking my bag. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's just coming up in there now. <laughs> Can't see in the bag. Here's more food. Are you coming out? <laughs> you stay in there now. There you go. There you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> got the bag stuck on her tail. <laughs> You're that took on hell. <laughs> Now she got back in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, hi. The dog's coming with you. <laughs> Getting ready to pounce. <laughs> 